Again, so I got these are switching over to little tiny turkey doggies. We'll see if you like it. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. So now I'm going to put my hand target out. Yes. Very nice. Yeah, <laughs> I tried to sneak a salmon in there. You got to eat those too, girlfriend. And then you just put the turkeys. Yes. Very nice. See her, her offering behaviors either the spins or just random downs. And at this stage, if she struggles with it a little bit, I'll just put food in my hand. Yes. Say yeah. Yes. Whoa, good girl. Very nice. Yes. Very good. So I'm switching hands. I just want to get her to think a little bit. Um, the first couple of times we did this, put your butt. Um, I had the food in my hand um, so that she was trusting going to here. The food was coming directly from the source. And now I'm kind of switching over to more of um, awkward condition where we're putting it on command. Say again. Touch. Yes. Where the food happens after she does the behavior so that she's trusting even if she goes to a touch. Yes. She's even if she goes to it and there's nothing directly in there, but she will still get something. Very nice. Go ahead. Touch. Touch. Yes. Very good. Um, I'll just build space where she can move around. Um, again, I'm going to switch to where she has no gates I'm on the friend no gates but a leash so that I have a little bit of control and I can kind of give her some guidance let's see if it is. so now we'll do where she's a step over touch step over into her harness touch yes yes and little things like that touch Yes. Very good. Good girl. Yeah. Um, outside of this exercise, we've been doing when we go outside, really simple things where um, introducing her to leash pressure. So, um, you know, like they're pretty good at with these harnesses. They can kind of like noodle out of there. So when we are walking and she puts the brakes on, I just kind of lift up a little bit. Um, I lift, man, watch out. Get your butt out of the way. I lift up so that she can't, like I don't want to pull towards me and help her slip out. I just kind of lift up so that her, um, I'm trying to word it right, like so that she can't slip out of it. Um, but I want to do a little bit of pressure and I'm going to turn my body facing the direction that we're walking. I'm going to keep that pressure on and keep doing like fake steps so that I'm mimicking like me continuing to walk. And as soon as she takes the brakes off and starts walking with me again, I discontinue that pressure. So I want to show her how to remove pressure. While I'm applying that pressure, I'm giving a little bit of motivation, like, come on, you can do it. Like a little bit of um, encouragement. Um, well, I know it's a kitty. Just to help her understand like, hey, this is what we're walking forward. You can't just stop whenever you want to for her safety so that she doesn't learn to just noodle a lot of things. Um, same thing if she starts to get a little 4G and trying to go ahead. I'm just lifting up a little bit, light taps. Like I don't want to cause pain or punishment or anything like that, but just enough where she's like, oh, what is that? And when she, I'm gonna continue move, moving forward, as soon as she changes her pace a little bit, that pressure goes away and we switch back to reinforcement. She's handling it really well. That's probably the the uh, the top amount of stress that she receives from me, but even that, it's been very minimal and she hasn't protested it too much. Right, girl? All right, good girl, yeah.